So guys, we did it. 10,000, 10 billion. To be honest, I kind of didn't care about hitting 10,000. <laughs> I remember my cousin Danny texting me and was like, hey, huge achievement. And I was just kind of like, meh. But it is a pretty good, pretty good achievement or something like that. So I figured, you know what? I did a tenth, or I did a, no, I figured, but, 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 I figured, you know what? I did a thousand subscriber special. I've got to do a 10,000, 10 times. It's got to be 10 times better. So I thought, you know what would be fun? You know what would be fun for a 10,000 subscriber special? If we took a little trip down memory lane. <sighs> sort by oldest. Here we go. First video ever, a short Lego stop motion video. Hobo Rage, nine years ago. Was this the first video Walker and I like made together? Exactly years. What perfect timing. Look what I'm watching. <laughs> Editing masterpiece. Huh, the show is over, punk. <laughs> the best part of the whole film. Nothing's changed. <laughs> Nothing's changed one bit. <laughs> oh. What was that? Who's there? Who's there? <laughs> what was that? Get to the chopper! No, let me in! <sighs> holy free holies! We should get out of here. And then here is the RC phase. Here we are, the first of many masterpieces. Trampling on flat top. The whole gang's here. Look at that. You know what's funny about you know what's funny about this? The trampoline on flat top was not my idea. It was Sasha's idea. But for some reason I got all the credit. I mean I guess I then became obsessive over it and wanted to keep doing it every summer and winter until my friends hated me, so I'll take credit for that part. Hello there. If you are suffering from first world problems like your cock logging okay, out- Okay, that's enough. Oh! <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, yeah. And then, I went into the gaming phase. I became a gamer. Ladies and <laughs> gentlemen, prepare to be astonished. Turn our flag. Ah, uh, yes. Our flag. Our flag <laughs> okay, that was actually pretty sick, I won't lie. So this is a fun little story. I don't think I've ever told anybody, but during this time that I was making gaming content, 2015, 2014-ish, I actually spammed my first 100, 150 subscribers, something like that. I used a Twitter app that would basically automatically send DMs to people after they followed me, and what i do is i just scroll through and follow as many people as I could, and then when they followed me back, they'd get this direct message saying, hey, thanks for following me, please check out my YouTube channel, blah, 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 blah. And eventually, this one guy left a very lovely, uh, he basically said, Hey, you're a piece of shit. This isn't gonna get you subscribers in the long run. And I said something stupid back like, yeah, I know. I don't really care. How do I get subs? We all know the sub for sub thing don't fucking work. How do you get subs? And he said something to me. That, what he said was actually like incredibly good advice. Make good content and the people will come. It was something along the lines of that. Look at me now, baby. Vlog one. I really don't want to watch this, to be honest. I already know exactly how much cringe this is going to be inducing. 
What is up, ladies and gentlemen? I am Yoga Man. My name is Ian, and today I'm making this. This I don't even know how to start, how to say it, but this is my first like actual vlog or vlog. You know what? This isn't as cringy as I was expecting. It's just not entertaining. Just because my friends and I we do a lot of the higher age. That I'd say is the highest point. I was really genuinely expecting this to be far more cringy than I was expecting. But I think we're gonna oh, go. I'd watch this guy. I'd subscribe. Am I subscribed? Oops. 26. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? I am Yoga Man, and today. Why do you start every video like that? I just gave you credit for not being cringy. Yep. Yep. Be My content hasn't changed one bit, has it? <laughs> What's up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Yoga Man, and today I'm back at Connor's cabin. You know what? <laughs> it's kind of hilarious that I actually start every single video like that. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I not longer do that? What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Yoga Man. I really kept this up for quite some time. And you know what? I am now impressed. So I had this. And, uh,. We'll get some cool shots up there. He brought his drone, or Yoga Man brought his drone. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we have some good content. <laughs> you are the good content, Walker. Are you a predator? Oh yeah, you bet you big boy. He's a predator. What type of predator are you? You? A sexual predator. <laughs> this is not appropriate. <laughs> I did this a lot. I, I do hate that I did this a lot. Where I titled and I, I clickbaited a video and like one tiny aspect of the video and then the other like 80 90 percent of the video has nothing to do with the clip with the title and thumbnail i did do that a lot <sighs> is this when i started making good content <laughs> Oh, you know what? I just realized <laughs> there's absolutely no way this video is going to be monetized with all these songs I've been playing. Whatever, who cares? They're starting to come out. Yeet. <laughs> I have the ISO cranked all the way up. It's pretty good. That was like the first time I've taken roller shots. It's not bad. Sketchy ice skating one, baby. Hmm. So, the song I'm gonna use in this, it got copyright claimed, which for those of you who don't know, means the label, the licensing service, whatever it is, uh, claims your video and puts ads on it, but you don't make any of that money. I noticed this video was like exploding for some reason. I don't know. I still don't know why any ice skating videos get any views, but they do. What I did is I, I actually contacted the label and said, hey, can I license this music after I've used it? And surprisingly, the guy that represents, that does all the licensing for Asda, I actually reached out to him and like filled out this form and saying, hey, I'm a broke-ass college student, but I'd like to still possibly license this song. Could I do that? And how cheap are you willing to go? And surprisingly, he responded back and he said something. Okay, this is the funny part of what he said. He said, hey, thanks for reaching out. This is a bit weird. I usually like don't do this like after the fact. And he's like, but anyways, congrats on the, all the views and whatnot. But usually the lowest we go for licensing music is between $500 and $1,000. That's the lowest. And I was like, oh shit, uh, well, what about 400 And he said, yeah. So actually, that is the only way I've been able to light or make any money off of this video. 
which actually, let's take a look. All right, how much money have I made total? 600 monies. So the thing is that it's not accurate for total because obviously I didn't, wasn't able to monetize it until March 10th, 2018. But I did make $200 profit, so stonks. How did Shane... I just realized Shane has been swindling us since 2016 into climbing peaks when we shouldn't be climbing peaks. I mean, look at this. So we're going up the ridge right there. Yeah, this is pretty what it looked dark. like when we were coming down. Pretty foggy. Actually, it's down. funny. This shoot right here, like 30 seconds after I got this shot, there's like a little cliff that you have kind of to jump over. And Ryan jumps over it. And when he lands, he accidentally like falls forward and he lands on his stomach and he starts sliding head first down the chute. And all of a sudden he's zooming past me and I'm like, I'm gonna stick out my hand. Like, like it was happening so fast. I didn't even know what to do. I was just like that. And I just remember he hit my hand, kept going. I turn and I see him pick up speed going down the chute. And, I, and Shane's in front of me. And all of a sudden Shane just like basically jumps out in front of Ryan and Ryan collides into him and they both start tumbling. And then there's a split second in my head where I'm like, holy shit, I'm about to watch Shane and Ryan both die. But then they stopped, so it was all okay. But, whew, good times. I remember thinking, I was like, I don't think I'll ever get a shot that's cooler than this shot. Four peaks, one day. <laughs> That's cute. Oh boy, I really don't want to watch this video, but here we go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, that's right. At some point in time, I thought it was a good idea to grow my hair out and get dreads. No wonder why everyone thought I was a stoner. Which is, of course, hilarious because I don't even smoke. However, later I decided it would be fun to make you guys decide whether or not I should get my hair cut. And uh, luckily, you guys made the right choice, so... Hey, I finally got the good job. Wait, this is also the video that I got hypothermia in. Fun fact about hypo. You do not get it when you would think you would get it. Like, but here we're swimming in literally ice water. We're totally fine, but later on, if I remember correctly, it was kind of early in the season, so the like the ocean was still a little bit chilly, but it wasn't like cold enough where it was like, oh, it's super cold or anything like that. I might've been even in there for like 15, 20 minutes. But I just remember after I got out and I started like stand by the fire, I started to shiver uncontrollably. And I was like, holy shit. I had no idea I was this cold, and that's what hypothermia is. It's like you don't you usually, you won't really realize how completely cold you are until you start warming up. It like slowly catch, it like sneaks up on you. I had no idea. Oh. Did anybody realize that I used bitch lasagna as the soundtrack for this? I reached out to Dylan Locke, the guy who made like the remix. And asked me if it was cool if I used his song, and he was totally cool with it, which was awesome. And this was like during the whole subscribe to PewDiePie meme, so I wanted this video to be part of that meme. But I don't know if I really hit the mark because some people were not a fan. That's why some people weren't a fan. I think. This video, by far, the most amount of time or effort or energy 
I put into any video I've ever put into. I think I literally spent like a month straight on this. Oh, so after I made that video, I made a video. So after I made the, the trampoline on flat top, the six one, I made a video that was all about, yep. That's uh, me. <laughs> that was all about the behind the scenes because we've done this like six times. I thought it'd be cool to make a video about like the whole journey and whatnot doing it. I submitted it into the Anchorage International Film Festival and it got selected and it even won second runner up. <laughs> Pretty impressive, right? I haven't made another vlog Tosh since 2018. I skipped 2019, mostly just because how bloody time consuming these videos are. But I think I'm gonna make one for 2020. Not burnt out. Hmm. You know what's funny about this video? All right, I'm gonna summarize this video in like, in like five seconds. All I do is complain about the fact that I only have 6,000 subscribers because I don't try to get views. I make content that I personally like, which means I make content that isn't necessarily trendy or clickbaitable. Like hiking videos. Who the fuck wants to watch hiking? Hiking videos are the most like boring content you could possibly make. I've been trying to figure out how to make hiking content entertaining for the last five years, and I still like can't quite figure it out. I think I'm getting closer, getting better. Like the only channel that I can think of that does like hiking content really well is Craig Adams and Mediocre Amateur. There's no like 10 million subscriber YouTuber that does just hiking videos. Like that doesn't exist. Not until I do it, of course. Not funny. Didn't laugh. So everybody's got good toys. <laughs> growing the corona it's growing look at it look how big it's getting <coughs> the oh god this video is aged terribly oh my god this video is aged wonderfully yeah i like this is this are you yoga man yes nice to meet, nice to meet you. you come in Yoga it's man. funny that I've been like bashing me for being cringy like five years ago, but this is a year ago. Sawyer's room. Let's see if Sawyer's in there. Is Sawyer home? Nope. <laughs> and Sawyer has and never been home last since. Last but not least. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Sawyer did come home. Sawyer did come home. Best shot you could ever take it. Oh, that was with Shabon. Oh, really you know, this wasn't quite as cringy as I was expecting. That was nice. Yeah. Oh, the naps, the after party naps. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in today. Ah, uh, yes, that's right. Why everyone disliked this video. Now I remember why it was bad. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> Damn, the book train trip. Probably one of the best hiking trips I've done. She and I went out to the to the bus 142 just like a week before it got removed. That was pretty crazy. Shot your own caribou? Shot my own caribou, yeah. Silver and tip. Fell through the ice. Finally, only took four years. <laughs> it fell through the ice. Yep, now we're all caught up. Ten years ago, I started putting content on YouTube and I basically never stopped. For, for me, looking at all this is, I remember like making this content. And I remember when I made it like five years ago when I started vlogging, I remember genuinely thinking that I was making like really good, really entertaining, cool content. But then a year later, I'd like look back at my content and be like, ah, oh, that wasn't cool, that was trash. Now I make good content. And then of course, a year later, going, what the hell was I thinking? All that content's trash, but now, now I finally make content and so on. If that trend continues, which honestly I hope it does, that means in a year from now, I'll look back at the content I'm making now and think it's trash. <laughs>
<laughs> which might sound bad, but for me that's good because that means I'm continuously improving, which I'd rather be improving and knowing that I'm making better content than I had in the past than to be stagnant. Now I know I said at the beginning of this video that I didn't care about subscribers. What I meant by that is I don't care about the subscriber number, like the count itself. It, it, it feels pretty meaningless nowadays. What I'm trying to get at is that I care about you guys. Is that what I'm trying to say? No. I don't care about how many subscribers I have. What I care about are the people that come back every time and watch my content. That have been watching for years or that, that have been watching consistently or just subscribed and like watching my content, right? You're the people I make this content for. Whether or not there was one of you, 10 of you, 100 of you, 1,000 of you, 10,000 of you, all right? It doesn't make a difference because it's, it's whoever's watching is who I'm making this content for. So I appreciate you. Yeah, I don't really know what to say, guys. Thanks for watching. More adventures to come. Want to climb bigger rocks, do bigger hikes, make bigger videos, uh, do more cringy arts and crafts videos. Before I go, I do want to say I'm thinking about doing a Q&A because it's been like two years since I did my last one. So if you have any questions about me, Alaska, my videos, anything, in the next video or so, I will try to answer all these in a cute little Q&A. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.